My son will be ripped from his familiar daily routine. This child comes alive with his friends. It's going to see this thing come to, uh, to a happy ending. Family, friends, and strangers making emotional pleas to the Holbrook School Committee, asking for Julie Evans' son to be allowed to attend Holbrook Middle School after moving to Weymouth. They did not seem to have any empathy. The Evans lost their home in a fire in January and were forced to move 10 minutes outside of Holbrook. The district's policy requires students to live within the town. And to have a policy that you think fits all is very, very misguided. State lawmakers, including House Speaker Ron Mariano, now involved demanding an exception. Make a change tonight, change your policy, make an exception for a traumatic house fire that was less than nine months ago. Evan says her request to meet with school officials were met with silence. Mind boggling that we are here. This is done routinely in other systems. And again, we're happy to sit down and have a conversation. Well, we're here tonight, so let's make this. I'm not going to discuss. Uh, individual cases at the school committee. Evan says she'll keep fighting for her son, worried about his mental health going into a new school after surviving a deadly fire. It literally took him two years to make this group of friends. That's his stability. That's his familiar environment. Now, after the meeting, Evans tells me she had a private conversation with the school committee chair who decided to allow her son to attend Holbrook Middle for six months with the condition that the family prove they are actively looking for housing in Holbrook.